Senator Marsha Blackburn, Republican, Tennessee, a friend of the program, joins us again. Senator, it's great to see you. Good to see you, Stuart. You want the four senators running for the presidency, the Democrats, to recuse themselves from the trial, but I don't think they will. Well, they should. They have taken an oath to provide impartial justice. And how in the world can you provide impartial justice if you are doing your day job, sitting there in the Senate chamber, and then at night you're Skyping in and FaceTiming into rallies or you're FaceTiming into breakfast and you're campaigning against the president. You are trying to get him removed from office. So you're trying to do him in in your day job and you're trying to boot him out in your night job. But then again, Senator, do you really want that? Because they are running for the presidency. If they're tied up in Washington, D.C. in a week's long trial, they're not out there campaigning for the presidency. I mean, it's six of one and half a dozen of the other, isn't it? Well, that's right, but they need to make a choice. Are they going to be a senator or are they going to be a presidential candidate? The choice is theirs. Is there any way you can make them recuse themselves? I mean, no. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Senator, but can, can you right. make them recuse themselves? There could be a vote for them to recuse themselves, but, and of course there's precedent for discussing recusal. It happened in the 1868 impeachment of President Johnson, where there was a discussion of recusal because the presiding officer would have followed on in the office of the president. So, yes, there is precedent for this and yes it's the right discussion to have and it is incumbent on these individuals who are members of the U.S. Senate and running for president to come forward and to make their choice. Senator Hillary Clinton was asked about supporting uh, Senator Bernie Sanders. She said and I'm quoting now, nobody likes him, no one wants to, wants to work with him. Well you're a colleague of his in the Senate, what's your reaction to Hillary's statement? Well, Hillary and Bernie have had a little cat fight going on for a long time, and uh, they're not ever going to be friends. And of course, we hear a good bit about that the Democrats feel like they'll end up in a brokered convention, and probably they're going to end up going with Bloomberg because they think he is the most electable. I think they've been really disappointed in how Joe Biden has performed on on the campaign trail and he can't remember what town he's in or what state he's in or what he said when he was vice president as opposed to what he's saying now. In my opinion, if I may express <laughs> it, the impeachment drive is partisan. He has not committed an impeachable offense and it's basically a spiteful political action by a party denied victory in the last election. Maybe I'm going no. too far, but what do you say? No, Stuart, I tell you, I, I think that yes, you're correct in that this is a partisan political impeachment. Basically what they're saying, when you read the impeachment articles, because they do not define a crime, what they define is an action that the Democrats are saying, we don't like how you behave and we don't like you. So therefore, since we don't like how you conduct yourself and we don't like uh, what you're doing and we don't like you because you beat Hillary, we're going to impeach you. I think it is a miscarriage of justice. It is a misappropriation of the time of the members of the House and of course you're going to see them double down on it and my, my assurance is that we in the Senate, in the Republican caucus in the Senate, we're going to conduct ourselves in a fair and constitutional manner, and we're going to get this behind us, get back to work on the American people's business. Yeah, as soon as possible, please. Uh, Senator, yes. uh, thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure. Good to be with you. Appreciate Thank you. It. Sure thing.